Before today's video starts, let's give a quick shout out to our lovely and amazing Patreons for all of their support. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going, everybody? Today, we're getting into a unboxing for you guys. This comes to you from RoseProfitCreations.com. I do have a code for you guys. It's a friends with benefits code and that is JTMJ Crafts 10 at checkout. Save yourself 10% off of your order. Okay, so now let's get into this. Okay, so I got my handy dandy little little cutter doohickey mold bobber. It's like super duper sharp. It helps with cutting plastic on your paintings if you interested in where i got it from i got it from diamond painting with sparklers thank you timo i love it it's a it's freaking sharp it's amazing gotta watch yourself because <laughs> it it uh, you don't want to cut yourself because it is sharp it's like a little little tiny little razor blade and it's it's just like it'll cut you if you don't watch out it'll just it'll just cut you so here is our box. We get a beautiful red box. Nobody's interested in the box. Get that out of here. This is what we're interested in. Okay. Let's see. Where's the... There's an entrance here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I found it. Oop. Diamonds are falling out. Bottom. That's fine. That was weird. Oh. That's broken open over there. I was like, why is there bags loose in here? This is really strange. But it, 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 it broken over there. So, I'll just leave those like that. Oh my god, are you guys ready to see this? Here we go. Get that out of the way. Oh, ho, 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 oh, my God. Are you ready? We have... Oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, my God. He's amazing. He is absolutely amazing. I finally got my Native Warrior... What I bought Pocahontas back when Rose first started opening up her shop. When I seen this, I was like, it's it's the mate to Pocahontas and I have to have it. It it was a half to have. I got this in a 60 by 60, so it's not a gigantic painting, but look at the detail. Sorry about the glare. That glitter is really really funky going on over there but look at the detail look at the face look at how detailed that's gonna be like the i'm i'm just in awe rose once again has done some amazingness with her with her art over here this is going to be a bit of color blocking which is amazing to say because for rose not a lot of stuff is is color blocking it's, it's, a, it's a, there's a lot of confetti usually in, in most of them. There is confetti through here, through here, through here, but most of the rest of it is literally color blocking. Look at how magnificent he is. I'm trying to get rid of this dang glare. Oh my gosh, he is gorgeous! Okay, so... This may not be this year because I already have a painting picked out for the event for this year. But if you guys are interested, now is the time to think about getting yourself a painting for my event and Angie's event. Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. We are co-hosting an event together that is DP. 
Native Heritage 2023. So that event is based on our heritage is Native Heritage. Our heritage. So if you are, if you have a heritage like, say, you're, you're German or you're Scottish or whatever heritage you are and you want to participate in the event, go find a painting that replicates your heritage and join us in the event for DP. Heritage 2023. It's going to be amazing. I'm looking so much looking forward to the event. I cannot wait. That starts the beginning of November. You do not have to have a new start. You can have a small painting. As long as it isn't like half done, you're, you're fine to join in. And oh, we're, we're going to have so much fun. So much fun. I got so much knowledge for you guys about heritage. It's, it's going to be fun. I'm just going to drop these out like this. Because it's broken. And there's no need to salvage that. So, this... Oh, the printer was kind of... Had lines through it. But that's, that still gives you a good image of what it is. And I love the fact that Rose has her initial on it. Oh my god, 60 colors! How do you do it, Rose? It's a 60 by 60 with 60 colors. <gasps> and I see ABs. Do you guys see the ABs? AB, 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 A, pink AB? Angie. It's pink ABs. Ah! <laughs> We got one, two, three, four ABs. Okay, cool beans. So the rest of these are are amazing colors. Look at the blues. Look at the turquoises. Look at I want to see the skin tone. Okay, so let's let's take a peek here. So we got F. F is eight seventeen, and there's no twenty five. I really wish these had the. DMC number on them, but this is a sticker. I can stick it straight on the bag just like that because I work from bags. That is my... That's not it. That is my preferred method of that. Right there is going to be on this... On his cheek right here. So it's going to be a nice red on the cheek. Let's see. Let's go up here. We're going to have 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51. I'm not seeing 51. There it is. Nice color. Nice colors. We have that. We have that. And I'm going to grab one more color real fast. J819 is 26. Oh, 26, 26, 26. Okay, so I just went ahead and laid out all of the, the colors so I can look at them and make sure that every single color is here and accounted for because you always want to make sure you're one check over your canvas to make sure your canvas is in really good condition you ain't got nothing messed up cut off uh glue hanging halfway off the damn thing or something crazy and you always want to make sure you fully count your diamonds because if you go back to like five months later to go work on this painting and you can't find two colors, then what? You should have brought it to the attention to begin with. That's why you always count your full colors. Okay, so let me stick this up. Okay, okay. Push that off the way. Okay, so these are three of the colors. Like this one's going to be over here by his, his cheek. This one here 
is going to be up in his face, and then this up here, up in his face as well. So, we have a variety of colors going into this face, like a light peachy, pinky colors. And that's just a couple of them. I'm not going to go through and, like, look over every single detail of the face the the colors that I did look at to for the face looked good for the face and the fa I think the face is going to turn out fantastic. So, now let's check out these diamonds. I'm sorry, these ABs and see exactly where they go. Because I am very curious about that. So, we have number 57, actually, it goes like, like that, that the way they're in the order. So 57 is the anchor, excuse trapper. Okay, I paused you guys for a split second, so I can kind of go through and and to find where this color's at so it doesn't bore you guys of me trying to find it. So it's kind of just sprinkled through this section right here. Let me move this up a little bit. So it kind of starts up here and it kind of sprinkles all through this. Uh, the or orange is... Uh, where did I see that at? There's some... This lighter yellow up here has some in it. Um, there's some sprinkled through here, through here a little tiny bit, through here a little tiny bit, a couple up in the the headpiece. Um, e, where did I find E at? Oh, E, e is all through here. This dark blue has a lot of E in it. Well, it's actually not the dark blue, it's the light blue right above the dark blue. So it's gonna highlight that dark blue and make it just pop. And then our last color is 60, and that is L. And actually, L goes here as well. There's a, a sprinkling of L's through here. There was a sprinkling of L's through over here, and a couple up through over here. So, and even over here, some else. So there's a wide variety of of uh, of babies kind of just sprinkled out. There's even some more over here. Um, there's even a few other of the color, the blues, up here as well. So it is it's kinda just like kinda just like taken and just lightly this like fairly dust sprinkled all over the canvas, which is gonna make it just pop. So that's it for me. Oh, I there's a toolkit in here. I didn't even show you guys the toolkit. What is wrong with me? So if you guys are interested in the event, go ahead and check out Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. She is the other host with me, you get a uh, 10 placer Ooh. and a four placer, a orange squishy. I take these and I put these on the stylist of my iPad. So when I'm drawing, it makes it more comfortable. And we have a boat and a chunk of wax. This actually looks like decent wax because, okay, so if you can hold it up and you can see through it, oops, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty crappy wax. But if you can't see through it, like I can't see through that. If I hold it over the reflection, you can see a little bit of the reflection show up, but that looks like pretty good pink wax. 
And then we have a pin with a three placer and a single placer and your metal tipped tweezers. They're not the super, super sharp ones, but they are still good tweezers. So that's it. So discount code for you guys will be down in the description box along with this link. And now's the time to think about ordering for the event. Come on over, hang out with us, learn some knowledge of our native heritage because me and Angie are both native heritage and we're both working on native prints. So come on over, hang out with us, check them out. We'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing live streams and I know sister will be doing live streams at some point in time throughout the event. So come on over, hang out, chit chat with us. If you want to know where I got my mother chicken pad at, that is from Mrs. Coffee Shop, and I will link that down below for you as well. As always, much love, peace, and respect for all, and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye, guys.